So our yearly break has started. So we just wrapped up our first half of the year filming uh, and we're now on our break. So uh, yeah, been a busy year this year so far. And I gotta tell you, it's been busy. This past week's been busy. This past Saturday, I took some youth on a trip to uh, Sevierville, which we don't know if that's at. It's kind of confusing because Sevierville and Pigeon Forge is like right beside each other. and. Uh, I always called it Pigeon Forge growing up. Now the whole area, if you say you're going to Pigeon Forge, it don't matter, you're going to Gatlinburg. And so I've heard that a hundred times also. And uh, got down there and it was the Saturday before, because I guess yesterday, Bucky's opened up up there in Sevierville, right off the, the like exit. And it's massive, it's a huge store, which, I'd go see one. I, I don't have like just a craze to go and see it. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, it's just a, a gas station, big gas station store, which supposedly has some good food and stuff in it. And I, like I said, I'll go and try it out, but I'm not like des like desperate to go. But apparently yesterday it was crazy. And, and from the most part, from everybody I've ever heard, Bucky's in general is usually very, very busy in every store that they've got open. And this one supposedly, from what I heard, is the biggest that they've they've built. So it's a humongous store, got plenty of stuff in there for everybody of all walks of life, I guess. Um, and I think it was just interesting that, and I, I took a picture of it, and you'll see it right, right here, uh, just the side of it, or I guess the back side of it really, as we was driving by. And uh, I mean, you can, you're driving down, uh, Interstate 40, and you see the big beaver sign. I mean, it's like a humongous sign. It's bigger than anything else around. And you just know that's exactly where this location is. And I guess they've made a humongous sign because it's a humongous store. So it's like a Walmart with a bunch of gas stations. And there is, a, I mean, a massive amount of gas station or gas pumps in this gas station. It's crazy. Uh, bigger than any like truck stop I've ever been to. It is ridiculous how big this thing is. You could think they're trying to make it seen by people in space. I don't know, but it's just a, it's just a thought. So they, they we went up there and I saw I saw that thing. I, and then yesterday it opened up and I saw a bunch of people posting pictures and stuff. I mean, it looks like an interesting place. Don't get me wrong. But uh, it's just nothing I have to go run to and, and go see. But I mean, on TikTok, it's everywhere. Not just that location, but in general, Bucky's is everywhere. So everybody loves going to Bucky's, which don't get me wrong. If that's what your thing is, by all means, it's just something I don't really have to go do. Now, if I'm in the area and I want to, you know, beat people down to try to get into a place that has some things, I may go and, and try it out and see what it's like. Apparently they got some interesting good food there. Um, and you know me, I like to eat, so maybe I'll try some food out if I go that way. But for as of right now, I'm, just, I'm not desperate to go. But yeah, so that opened up this past Monday and people were, were going to town about that. And, uh, so 4th of July is right around the corner. I mean, it's just literally in a, in a few days. Today's almost the city today. I don't know what today is. The I have no idea. It's Tuesday something. I don't know what today is, but I know the fourth is next week. I think. See, I think the end of the month is this Friday. Yeah, I think. See, and this Saturday, Sunday, maybe Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah, maybe it's Tuesday. This this uh, this next.
next week. So we got 4th of July around, around, around the corner, uh, which we had 4th of July there for a while was just not a big thing, especially during COVID. Well, they tried not to make it a big thing. They didn't want people going out and uh, spending time around each other because they were afraid people would, you know, catch COVID and, and spread the virus. And so they canceled like all the 4th of July day celebrations, the fireworks, uh, the, the parades, they canceled all that everywhere. And uh, last year, I think, I think it was last year or this year, I can't remember where, when I seen this post, but it seems like Bristol is just now like starting to do their 4th of July like fireworks show. I think it was the, if I'm not mistaken, it was this year, but I could be wrong. Maybe it was last year, which threw me off. I mean, we're in now 2023. This was back in 2020, and it took them three years just to start their 4th of July day. 4th of July fireworks celebration show. Blows my mind that it took them that long, which you might want to get political, but that just far for course. And just in general, in, not in this, in this area, but in the country. So, you know, not to get go into dive into that, but it, you know, it's just we got Fourth of July coming up, which I done a video on, and it actually went to like our local news station because my brother's neighborhood, the place that we usually film, they have a weird tradition every. Uh, 4th of July and it's usually like the weekend before or after and they do a lawnmower parade not not even joking it's a lawnmower parade they deck out there riding lawnmowers every single buddy that ha in that neighborhood has a, a riding lawnmower they deck them out into all kinds of weird stuff and they start at one location in the neighborhood and they make their little trip throughout the whole neighborhood and it's, uh, I filmed this one to, uh, like a few years back and it ended up going to, uh, it ended up blowing up on Facebook and, and then it, it uh, got big, so big that uh, the local news station wanted to cover it because they thought it was a, a cool idea that, that they had this, this neighborhood doing this 4th of July uh, parade as a lawnmower. Which I had never seen me do that before, but they've been doing it, I guess, for quite some time up there. And I had filmed it that time, and it was it was pretty pretty funny. Man, my brother gets into it. He he goes, or Andy gets into it. He goes he goes on the lawnmower, he decks it out, and they do this parade throughout that whole neighborhood. And I get, in fact, I, <laughs> when he found out about it the first year that they were there, the next year he made sure he went and bought a riding lawnmower so he could enter into that parade and you know be a part of it and he you know got all kinds of little stuff to put on his lawnmower to ride through that neighborhood i missed it i think the last year or last two years maybe i've missed it had things going on uh, usually with the old youth i was a part of i had usually we did a fourth of july thing that we'd go over to one of the kids houses parents that fought that shot off fireworks or or something and we just you know lit them off and, and had a good time so uh, but this year i don't think we got anything going on so maybe i get to celebrate fourth of july uh, at a friend's house or something and i have to go somewhere that'd be a plus so, but I'll try to continue to do these Tuesday morning up, uploads. I mean, I've got 15 minutes usually to get to, to church, and uh, I'm not doing anything anyways, but sitting here staring at the road as I'm driving down. So if y'all enjoy these videos, I'll continue to do them. Just let me know that you're enjoying them down there in the comments um, and that you want me to continue to do these videos on Tuesday, just little updates and weird conversa uh, conversation I have with this phone. You know, it's a one-way conversation, but, I'm, but I'll read y'all's comments that y'all uh, comment in on, on our other videos and stuff, too. So don't, don't think that your comments are not being heard. I just don't comment back. I don't really have a lot of time, usually, to, to do a lot of stuff anymore. 
Now I can't speak for Andy. Y'all harass him about commenting all you want. But I usually edit the videos and post them and stuff. And between that and church, you know, got a lot of things going on anymore. So, but let me know if you're enjoying the videos. I'll continue to try to do them through July. That way you have at least one, uh, one video a week coming out. And uh, we will get back to our usual broadcast back in uh, August, as we usually do. The first week in August, you'll have a video. And uh, we'll go from there. So, until then, I will catch you next week.